In this video, we will be looking at the volume of a cone. But first, can you remember what the, air, what the formula is for volume? Well, volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. And so if we were looking at a cylinder, which we have here on the right, then we could use the base, for example, as the circle at the bottom. And then what we would do is we would drag that circle up to the very top, and that length would be the height. And so the final, f for, for that cylinder, we would say volume is equal to, so the area of the base would be a circle, so that would be pi r squared. And then the height we would use would be this height over here, so you would do something like that. But that's a cylinder. In this video we're talking about a cone, but they do have a similarity. Would you say that you could put more water in the cylinder, or could you put more water in the cone, if their radius and their height is the same? Well, it's obvious that you would be able to fit more water in the cylinder, because all of this part over here has been taken away when you're looking at a cone. And so mathematicians have come up with a rule that we can use whenever we have a pyramid kind of shape. Now a pyramid kind of shape is anything where it starts off wide at the bottom and then ends up narrow or at a specific point at the top. So what mathematicians, and you might remember this from when we did the cube and the pyramid, we said that all you have to do at the end is divide your answer by three. So what you could do is you could imagine this cylinder over here, you would get that one's answer, and let's say the volume was 30. Then for the cylinder, you would just say 30 divided by 3. And so the volume of a cone is equal to the following. So there it is at the bottom. It says the area of base times height. So you do that, and that would be the same as for a cylinder. And then that little line is me trying to say divide. So you then say divided by Three, And so in your in class, your teacher might use the following. She might say, or he or she might say, volume is equal to a third A times H. Now what this all means, and this is the same as what we saw with a cube and a pyramid. What this says is that the, the A, well, that's the area of the base. The H, that's the height. And the third, well, that's the same as dividing by three. So in summary, a cone and a cylinder almost have the same volume. It's just that the cylinder's volume will be one-third, sorry, the cone's volume will be one-third of the cylinder. So you pretend it's a cylinder, and then you'll just divide your answer by three. And so let's put that into practice, and let's actually work out the volume of this one over here. So we know that the volume of a, of a cone is area of base. So the base is this part over here. And so the area of a circle is just pi r squared. And then we're going to times that by the height. Now, what height do we use? Well, for volume, you're always going to use this height over here. That central height that's going right from the top of the pyramid down to the middle. It's only when we're doing area that we have to try use this one over here. Because area is all about the outside. Volume is more interested on the inside. And so if we're to go fill this in, so that's just going to be height. So we're going to go pi, the radius, well, that's 5. The height is 10. Now, if we did that, that would actually be a cylinder. But then because it's a cone, we have to just remember to divide our answer by 3. And if you had to go do all of that on the calculator, you end up with a final value of 261.8. Now, I haven't given units, but let's say it was centimeters. Then we would use centimeters to the power of 3, because volume is always to the power of 3.